Uh, we're here with Taryn Shuley, and um, she's going to tell us a little bit about her nonprofit organization. And she's actually also a cancer survivor, so she's telling me a little bit about um, not only the overcoming the cancer, but what inspired you to start this nonprofit. Uh, my name is Karen Shirley, like you said, and I am a cancer survivor as well as a nurse. I started this organization uh, because I noticed there was a gap in care for individuals trying to deal with the emotional and uh, physical needs surrounding survivorship after cancer treatment, but al also for burns, facial palsy, and other um, categories. So. Uh, when I started this organization, I felt that there was not enough support, and I was looking for something, and because of my facial disfigurement, it was difficult, because that's the first line of communication. So I kind of isolated myself, became depressed, um, I had lost my job, and I was looking for something to help me move forward. So in doing, starting this organization to offer support not only for individuals like myself, uh, for facial or uh, body disfigurement, I also um, start a healing process for, uh, for me as well. And we have monthly support groups, we have a newsletter that we send out quarterly, um, that we have information, we have resources for individuals, caregivers, also healthcare professionals, whether it be dental or medical, um, as well as educators. And it's really important um, to grow a community to connect so the individuals not feel alone. They feel that someone's there, they've walked through the journey, so they have someone to connect with. It's about connecting, uh, being empowered, those type of things. And I found, um, we, when we started in Pittsburgh, uh, it actually grew quicker than I imagined, because um, there's nothing like this in the United States. So with that, we're trying to uh, educate people, healthcare professionals, dentists, as well as medical professionals, um, and letting them know about what services we provide for their patients, because oftentimes they are working on trying to save the patient's lives, they're trying to work in towards um, doing the things they need to do, and they don't realize that there's support out there for the individual uh, once they leave their office. So now it's helping them create awareness about who, who we are and what we're um, able to do for their patients. Okay, and um, so what would you say are the next steps or the goals of this? where you want to go from here? Like, what do you hope to accomplish by being here? And so my um, goal is for individuals to know who we are so when the patient comes in their office and they see that they're having issues, um, then they can actually do a referral. Uh, because we are not local and this, uh, you know, we're more of a national, so we provide not only a website, interactive website that people can blog and hear stories of hope and inspiration. We also have monthly support group meetings with video, which is a PHI uh, protected uh, web conferencing and teleconferencing opportunity for individuals so we can connect nationally and internationally. There's no fee to the individual. Um, so the other thing is, the reason I'm here is a head and neck cancer survivor. I suffer from xerostomia and I want people to know there's products out there that I was not aware of when I was going through treatment. And so some of them, um, one of the main ones that was fun to help with us is Camillex. And so as a head and neck cancer survivor, I chew the gum, I use the lozenges, um, I use the spray, and these things have really made an impact and helped me in my life as a survivor. Um, it's not just for patients that are head and neck cancer survivors, it's for anyone who has xerostomia because of all the medications that they take to try to manage their symptoms, they end up with xerostomia. It could be elderly patients, it could be um, people on CPAP, it doesn't really matter um, what the cause. The importance is that there is help out there and that's what we're trying to do is create awareness. Thank you, Karen, for your time. Thank you very much.